This is NZXT's new Kraken Elite RGB AIO. And when NZXT told me that they've upgraded the display in the AIO to a 60 hertz one, it got me thinking, can you actually game using the display on your AIO? So on top here, there's the manual, which I'm sure has plenty of details about how to hook up your NZXT AIO as a gaming display. And in terms of packaging, this is just how every AIO for the last millennia has been shipped. In terms of RGB fans, it seems like NZXT's switched it up a bit with these new fans. They've got these slightly flimsy semi-translucent fan blades, which I'm guessing is for RGB diffusion. And in terms of RGB header, it uses NZXT's proprietary connector, which is a bit naughty, but at least it comes with an RGB hub in the box, which I guess alleviates the naughtiness at least slightly. And then here is the included hub, which comes with three little RGB slots, and it connects to your motherboard using USB. But for today's video, I'm significantly more interested in this end of the AIO. Now the display on the new Kraken is a 2.4 inch 640 by 640 display with a 60 hertz refresh rate, which should be more than enough. As Lennon once famously said, more than 2.4 inch for a gaming display is nothing but bougie heresy. So hopefully we can get games to display on it. Ooh, that's a nice solid material. I think that's metal. Uh, but in here is the connector that you use to connect the pump and all of the display MacGuffins. So let's see what actual headers we have available. Oh, this new connector is way better. You can actually see which way around to plug it in. You don't have to break the connector to figure out the orientation. Now, unfortunately, the new connector does not come with an HDMI port, which would have been real convenient. So now that we've had a brief look at the new AIO, let's plug it into a system that's already running and see what kind of output options we have for this new display. Hey, look at that. Things are lighting up. Actually, I, I guess I should probably peel this first. Yeah. There we go. And now that we have cam installed, some interesting things are happening on the AIO. There we go. We've got the firmware updated and you can see now that the display is doing its thing. Although it is upside down. So we go to rotate display and then when you click save, it turns around. Good. So now we can have a look at the options we have for faces here. Display an image or GIF, but that's like preloaded stuff. So it's not really useful to us. Oh, there's this new option for web integration. This seems interesting. I think the web integration may be the way to go because the rest of it's just like temperature monitoring crap, which <laughs> isn't really useful to us now. Now how CAM's web integration works is you drop a URL into the software and then the AIO displays that web page. That's about the extent of it. The problem I ran into was how do I use the AIO displaying a web page for real time gaming? The first option I tried was using TeamViewer, but I quickly realized, considering that I'm not a scam call center, I don't know how to use TeamViewer. But after a couple of pretty inept attempts, I can confidently say it didn't work. My next genius idea was to use a browser game like Slither. And while inserting the Slither URL into CAM yielded promising results, it wasn't a copy of the instance I had running in my browser, so I couldn't control anything. How do I get my mouse here? My next bright idea was to try and use Discord streaming in a browser, which again seemed promising. But after dropping the Discord channel URL into CAM, the AIO would display an initial frame from the web page and then just stop refreshing. So unfortunately, after another entire afternoon of struggling, another dead end. But then it hit me. Twitch. But before I enact my genius plan, I think I need to mount this on the system so that we're actually gaming on the AIO we're using to cool the system. I don't know, I feel like it's an important semantic point. I'm gonna use my thigh slash crotch as an anchor point for the radiator while I mount fans. Can't imagine that going wrong. 
Oh, turn the PC on! Woo! Oh, look at that. It looks all lovely in its, in its pure white. Uh, although, now that we have the AIO installed comes the, the difficult part. Because I don't want to lean over the system to, to view my gaming monitor. So I'm going to have to kind of lean it up here. I'm just going to kind of go for it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take the PC. Oh, oh my word. This. We can move the box out the way. And then... I, I think... I, I think that's going to do the trick. Standing here looking at the setup, I can't help but think that this is the future of gaming. So I've just finished setting up a fresh Twitch account, so I can stream my gameplay to Twitch, drop the Twitch link into Cam, so that the AIO shows the Twitch stream, which I can hopefully use for gaming. Which in no way seems like it's gonna be a latency nightmare. A few moments later. Hey, and there is our Twitch stream. Although, you can tell there's a a bit of a funky crop, and unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. That's just the way gaming's gonna happen. And as I started the stream, more good news. Look at that, it's updating in real time. And after just a bit more tinkering, I was ready for some game. And then I just press play. <laughs> now, as you can tell at this point, we can kind of measure the latency in minutes. Uh, but it's fine, you know? Latency isn't that important for gaming. And once I turned off the secondary display, we were in business. The game is now launching, and that is happening <laughs> using, <laughs> using the AIO display. There we go, it's loaded in, and um, the latency is legitimately shocking. Like, I, <laughs> I've never felt this much delay. And it also seems like the frame rate is very low. Oh, oh my word. I'm gonna see if I can get into my car. Although that is gonna be a very difficult thing to do because the thing with this latency, right, is that A, I guess the frame rate the game's running at is kind of irrelevant, which is cool, so I could use any hardware theoretically for this. But the second problem with it is you kind of have to guess how much movement any particular input's gonna generate because you can't correct post input in the way that you normally can. I'm gonna get into that car if it's the last thing I do. I can imagine driving like this is, is entirely safe. Oh, we're doing it, we're getting into the car. Look at that, we're on the road, very good. I've aligned everything, we're going straight and suddenly <laughs> <laughs> that was such a big latency spike. I jumped like a hundred meters there. <laughs> I just also can't get over the crop. It's so wildly unusable. Wild unusability aside, I decided to set a challenge for myself to prove that gaming can happen on an AIO display. Get a kill in an FPS. Now at CSGO, there's a bit of a problem. The button to start a match is cropped out. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm, I'm gonna have to use the main display here. I know, I know, it's kind of cheating, but I don't have a choice. <laughs> I don't have a choice because I can't find the button. Oh, oh, it's gonna be harder to get a kill than I thought. Oh! Oh, that hasn't worked. That, that hasn't even almost worked, has it? So now I'm gonna use, I think an SMG. So that I can just spray and pray. Whichever one I can click on, that one. Damn it! <laughs> the, the bot killed me before I could finish buying my SMG. Ugh. Now I have to wait for another round to finish. Luckily, in the next round, the bots were so busy planting the bomb and winning the game that I had plenty of time to buy my SMG in preparation for the next match, which went well. Oh, I'm being shot at, Ah, oh, damn it. The problem with having to get so close to your PC to see what's going on is you can really feel the heat emanating off it and you can hear it very clearly. This is, this is quite intimate. 
And considering that unlike you, I'm not looking at it through a macro lens, I can't even almost see anything. But try as I might, I just couldn't get a kill in CSGO. So I decided to try a much less precise shooter. Oh, I'm being attacked. Oh no. Oh. No, I'm I'm dead. Oh no, I need to do the mouse. I, I'm I'm dead again. Come on, turn! Oh, I, I'm so scared to put any inputs in. And after eons of shouting, I got real close. Oh no! Le right. Oh! I I think a kill happened there. The gaming experience is so terrible that I can't really tell, but luckily, I was screen capturing. Oh, I did! That is confirmation that gaming happened on the AIO display. It worked. And there you have it, the future of gaming.